Good morning, viewers at home. This is Mathematics Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall study linear sequence. Kindly subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and click the notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you will be duly notified. Thank you. In our last video, we started with uh, sequence and series. There, we define the, the word sequence. We look at examples of uh, a, a sequence of numbers and uh, we equally studied how we can know the general pattern of a particular sequence. So in this video, we shall consider and look at uh, what we mean by linear sequence. But before we go into that, let's first of all look at this example so that we will understand uh, the word linear sequence very, very well. Let's look at the example. Find the first three terms. Find the first three terms of the sequence of the sequence whose general term is general term is there's a one T n is equal to three plus minus one is power n then two t n is equal to one over two raised power n minus one okay now the solution is the first one t n is equals to three plus minus one is power n we are asked to find the first three terms don't forget i told you that each number in a particular set of uh, numbers called a uh, sequence is called a term so we have a set of numbers each number in that particular uh, pattern in that sequence is called a term so we want to find the first three terms now that means and we know that our n represents the number of terms recall n is equal to what number of terms so t1 will be that is the first number in that uh, uh, sequence 3 plus minus 1 raised power 1. That would be what? 3 plus minus 1 raised power 1 is minus 1. So that would be what? 3 plus and minus is minus. 3 minus 1 is 2. So that means the first number in that uh, sequence is 2. T2. That is what? 3 plus minus 1 raised power 2. Okay. That would be what? 3 plus minus 1 raised power 2 means minus 1 times minus 1. So that was 3 plus minus 1, that's minus 1, plus 1. So we have what 3 plus 1, that's 4. Because plus and plus is 1. I hope you understand. Okay? Now, T3 would be 3 plus, that is the third term now, minus 1 is by what? 3. So that would be what? 3 plus minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. So that would be what? 3 plus minus times minus is plus, plus times minus is minus, that's minus 1. And 3 minus 1 is equal to what? Is equal to 2. I hope you understand. So the first three terms now, the first three terms of that sequence, the first three terms are, so the first three terms are, the first <coughs> three terms are, that is T1, T2, T3 are, T1 is 2, T2 we obtain 4, and uh, T3 we obtain what? 2. So that is that about that. Now the second question, just follow the same uh, process. The second question, the, the, the term is defined by Tn is equal to, that's the general term, 1 all over 2 raised power n minus 1. So T1, the first term, will be 1 all over 2 raised power 1 minus 1, because our n is now 1 here. So that what? 1 all over 2 raised power. 1 minus 1 is 0. And according to the law of indices, n raised power 0 is what? It's 1. So 1 all over 2 raised power 0 is 1. So 1. Okay. Now T2, that is when n is 2, 1 all over 2 raised power 2 minus 1, which is 1 all over 2 raised power 2 minus 1 is 1. And uh, that's what? That's 1 over 2, because 2 raised power 1 is 2. Okay. Now the, the last one there, that is the third term, T3 will be 
1 all over 2 raised power, when n is 3 now, 3 minus 1. So 1 all over 2 raised power, 3 minus 1 is 2. That's 1 over 2 raised power, 2 is 4. So the T1, T2, T3 now will be, our first time is 1, <coughs> second time is half, and the last time is, I mean the third time is uh, 1 over 4. So that is that, about that. It's as simple as that. Now let's look at uh, linear sequence proper. Linear sequence proper. Let's look at linear sequence proper. Uh, for us to look at that, we have to start with the nth term of an arithmetic progression. The nth term, the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression is an example of a linear sequence. Okay? Now, Consider a linear sequence. Consider a linear sequence with a first term, with a first term A. The first term is A, with the first term A, and a common difference, a common difference, a common difference uh, D. The common difference D. Now, to find the nth term, to find the nth term, to find the nth term of the linear sequence, of the linear sequence, we have, now what, do I, what are we saying here? To find the nth term of the linear sequence, we have. Now, how do we find the nth term of that linear sequence? Let's look at that now. Let's look at that. Okay? We want to have, uh, we are given a linear sequence with the first term A and a common difference D. That means the first element in that sequence is A. Now we are now told that we have a common difference D. So that means that the next term, if the first term is A, the next term will be greater than the first term by D. So it will be, it will, so the time will be increasing linearly like that by D. So we have the second term, we now got A plus D. If you observe closely, the second term is now greater than the first term by D. So the third term here now, the third term will be A plus D plus D. Yes, it, so the respective, uh, the, 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 the respective term, we, the, the succeeding term will be increased or greater than the preceding one by D. The respective or the successive uh, you know, the successive term, A plus D plus D plus D. Okay? So, the, the successive one will be greater than the preceding one by D. So, you can see that this one is like A plus 2D. This one is like A plus uh, 3D. And so on. So, that's how it will go on and on and on. So, now for us to know the general term, that will be what? A plus now, our 3 here could be replaced by n minus 1. Because if we look closely at this, you know that if you look at that, which is when you take 1 from 4, you have 3. Then multiply by d. So when you take 1 from 3, you have 2. Multiply by d. So when we now take 1 from n, we have n minus 1. Multiply by d. So this is the general term of an arithmetic uh, progression. Or the, or the end term. So, uh, so let's look at an example there. Let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. Okay. Now, example. Example 1. Example 1. Find the 20th term 20th term of the linear of the linear sequence of the linear sequence of um, 6, 12, 8, 24, and so on. Okay. Now, what is our end time here? Our end time here is 20. Okay. So, let us itemize the parameters. Our first time is what? Is 6. So, A is 6. We observe that the sequence is a linear one. That means the sequence has a common difference of uh, D. Okay. Now do we find the common difference? So our common difference D will be 
from here, just the, 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 the second time minus the first time, or the third time minus the second time, or the, so you understand? So that's why successively D is the increment of the term. Okay? So that would be what? 12, which is the second time here is 12 minus 6. You know, it's the same thing as saying 18 minus 12. So just like that. It's the same thing as that saying, the same thing as saying 24 minus 18. So in other words, D is equals to what? 6. Therefore, since uh, Tn, which is general term, is A plus N minus 1 bracket D. So T, our N here is what? 20. T20, we add what? Our A is 6 plus N 20 minus 1 bracket our D is also 6. That's just by substitution. That's just by what? Substitution. Okay. So, this will give us T20 is equal to 6 plus now 20 minus 1 is 19 multiplied by 6 is 6 outside. So that was 6 plus that is, uh, you know, 54 or 5, 6, 11. Okay? Yes. So I was about 20. So the 20th term of that linear sequence is uh, 120. So let's look at another example. Let's look at another example. Example 2. Let's look at another example. Example 2. The first term, the first term of uh, the linear sequence, that is a uh, arithmetic progression, is 3. And the eighth term, the eighth term is 31. Find the common difference. Find the common difference find the common difference okay now how do you solve this list out the parameters first time is 3 a is 3 the eighth term is 31 that's t8 is 31 so we want to find what we want to find d we don't know what our d is okay so that means since the H term is being given to be 31. We use what? We use our uh, H term. So T8 will be what? A plus 7D. Do you remember? Because it will be what? It will be what? It will be N minus 1 bracket D. So that will A plus our N here is what? 8 minus 1 bracket D. I hope you understand. Okay? That's how I got my A plus 7D. It's as simple as that. So T8 will be what? A plus 7D. I hope that is clear now. So and what is our D? What is the what is the the H uh, the H term? The H term is 31. 31. Our first term is given to be 3 plus 7. We don't know the common difference. 7D. So now collect like terms. 31 minus 3 is equal to 7D. This word 28 is equal to 7D. Now how do we get D? Divide both side by 7. 28 over 7 equals to D. 4 equals to D. Therefore, the common difference D is equals to 4. So you can see it's very, very simple. Please don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. Thank you very much. God bless you.